Cops. Central organization of police specialists. Fighting crime in a future time. Is back. So for those of you who don't know, Cops was a late 80s toy line and cartoon, and it was short-lived, but it was very memorable. You were looking at the opening for the cartoon right here, put out by the good folks at Deke, and it was a late 80s cartoon, so it still had that self-contained, simple storytelling with a mix of action and humor, but it was a little more sophisticated than some of the earlier stuff and really focused in on its characters and the futuristic world they lived in. And it was just so cool to see all these cool characters and all these interesting ways the crooks could use technology to commit crime. And it was just a good show. You can watch it for free on Tubi. The cartoon tells the story of a high-tech unit of police specialists that protect Empire City from Big Boss and his gang of crooks. And again, it was really entertaining. The show was fantastic, but so were the action figures. Cops figures were these big, giant figures that had these oversized weapons that you would use caps on, and the caps would, you know, make a banging sound when you used them. And some people would infatuate over the size of the figure or the gimmick, but to me, what I was really into was the characters and the high-tech world they inhabited and that artwork on the package. So if you're a comic book fan, you may be saying to yourself, gosh, the artwork on the packaging looks like it's done by Bart Sears. And that's because it is. Bart Sears designed this toy line, and that's why all these characters are so big and bulky and over the top, and it's just awesome. And I just loved his artwork on these packages. And if you wanna see Bart Sears draw these characters in a comic book, he did. When DC Comics did their Cops comic series, he actually did the covers and some of the interiors for some of the issues, and he would draw them in the same style that he designed them in. And the equally amazing Pat Broderick actually did most of the covers and art, and he was amazing as well. He would draw them in the style of the animated series. So it was really interesting going between the style of the toy line and the style of the cartoon between issues. So the comic series is a great visual ride, and towards the end, they did unfortunately bring in a third artist whose artwork just wasn't as good, but for the most part, I think this is definitely a series worth checking out and was a real treat for a franchise that was, at the time, a short-lived experience. But a few years ago, Fresh Monkey Fiction brought cops back with minifigures, and this was a set of minifigures. You can still get it right now on Big Bad Toy Store, and these are nice, but not necessarily the articulated action figures that I think fans of the franchise would want. But then in recent weeks, they teased us with this card back from Fresh Monkey Fiction, partnered with Chicken Fried Toys, of new cops figures. And you're seeing Sundown. It's a new art style, but he is looking really, really good. And so that got us really going about what could be happening. And then they showed us the prototype, and it is glorious. Sundown in all of his glory. Clearly a little bolt down from Bart Sears, but that's understandable. And he looks fantastic. This is on a three and three quarter inch scale. Here's an idea of what he's going to look like in color. He's going to come with two guns, and he looks awesome. And so there's no pre-order dates yet. But it does say it'll be available in the summer of this year. So hopefully soon, probably on social media, Chicken Fried Toys and Fresh Monkey Fiction will be posting about how we can pre-order this. And so it's not just going to be Sundown. They did tease another figure they're working on. And so this is a mostly blank card back, but it does have the name on it. It says The Button Man. And this, of course, is referring to Buttons McBoom Boom, who was Big Boss's enforcer. He carried a machine gun around in a violin case, but he was also a cyborg, so he had machine guns grafted into his chest. And he was a really cool character. Fresh Monkey told me that they couldn't use the real name for the character because of trademark reasons. I don't know why this is. I couldn't find any trademarks registered for the name Buttons McBoom Boom. On the back of the minifigures that Fresh Monkey put out, they did use the proper names for the characters, so I don't know why they can't use them now. 
It was a Hasbro property back in the 80s, and I'm not sure who owns it now. The term cops and crooks is actually a trademark of Fresh Monkey Fiction, but that's usually something done by the company that owns the property. So I'm not sure if it's somehow transferred from Hasbro to Fresh Monkey. There is no copyright or trademark information on the minifigures. There's not even a logo for a company. So if anyone has any information on this, please feel free to share. And so what they've announced is that there are going to be six initial figures that are put out and they will be released in pairs of single carded figures. And so what they've said is that there are going to be two heroes released, two villains, and two drivers. One driver that will probably be released would be Hardtop. He is the driver who came with the cop's assault vehicle in the toy line, and he is a young rookie, and he is oftentimes teamed up with Long Arm O'Malley, and so he is a fantastic, memorable character that would make a great figure. And I assume that the other driver would have to be Turbo Two-Tone, who drove the Crooks Roadster and came with that vehicle in the toy line. And he is one of the main villains in the show. He got a lot of screen time, and so he's a great choice as well. And so for the other characters that they'll release, they have stated that they don't plan to release the female characters in that initial six figures, and that's not surprising. They didn't get figures back in the day either. My guess would be for the other hero would be Longarm O'Malley, who you're seeing in the middle there. Longarm is a veteran beat cop, and he has that traditional police uniform, and he essentially is kind of the duke of the franchise, if I'm using a G.I. Joe analogy. And, of course, he was also teamed up with Hardtop a lot. He, they were partners, and so if you have Hardtop, of course you're going to want to have Longarm as well. And my guess for the other villain would probably be Berserko. Berserko is Big Boss's idiot nephew. And to use a Masters of Universe analogy, he's kind of like Beastman. He's that dumb thug that gets up a lot of screen time in the cartoon. And he often gets paired with Turbo Two-Tone. And so if you got Turbo Two-Tone, you're going to want Berserko. They go together as a pair, just like Longarm and Hardtop. But those are just educated guesses. I am a little more confident about Longarm than I am about Berserko. We'll see, but the initial lineup of characters for the toy line was super strong, and whatever they go with is going to sell for Cops fans. And so really excited for this. I haven't gotten toys from Chicken Fried Toys, but they do look really good. They do Dime Store Legends, which are these three and three quarter inch cowboy figures. So Marshall Sundown is a really good choice to team up with them. And I do have some Fresh Monkey figures from their Amazing Heroes line, and they are really good. They do a lot of three and three quarter inch figures as well. And so I'm really excited for the scale because you're going to be able to put them with your G.I. Joes or your Marvel or DC three and three quarter inch figures or the Haya Toys, Robocop and Ed 209. So the just the possibilities are just endless. So this was a concept that had a big impact on my life. It's one of the things that helped get me into comics. It was the last toy line that I played with as a child before I would age out of playing with toys. And I just have always loved cops as a franchise. And so I'm hoping that there are other people who feel the same way. So I hope you guys are also excited to see the return of cops. All right, that's it. Like and subscribe for more videos. And until next time, case closed.